I totally jacked up his bum. Good morning, happy Saturday. I do not look my best right now. I think I feel a little bit better or I'm just on so many drugs that it doesn't hurt. But and I'm gonna give Bentley a bath and a trim because I don't like the way that he came out when I took him to the groomer. Last week, I feel like she just scissored him and I don't like it. So I'm gonna do this ish myself. So I'm gonna give him a bath, blow him out. I ordered the Wall Bravara clipper set and that should be delivered any minute now by FedEx. So I figured I would just wash and blow him out even though he's already kind of clean, but everything I read about using clippers and clipping dogs, the clippers just work best when they are clean. Not they're clean, when the dog's clean. So I figure I'll just get this part out of the way. Not gonna use a white shampoo because I believe they used one on him at the groomers. I'm gonna use this Earth Bath Puppy Shampoo Spa Blueberry Facial for his face. And I'm gonna use the um, the thick and thicker and the after you bathe because I enjoy the results that I get with that. I think I'm just gonna, unless I completely fail at this mission, I'm just gonna groom them myself because clippers were expensive. And I'm just wearing the apron because it makes me feel like, you know, legit. Like people that wear aprons, they know what they're doing. Ready, bubbles? I'm gonna fill up the sink. Fill it up, fill it up. Look at, whoops, look at my fluffy fluff fluffersin. He has like a little fro. And he's all clean and dry. I'm actually quite pleased with my work. Oh, uh, hunty, uh-uh. And I think I kind of desensitized him to the hair dryer in his face. Because I just rapid fired kibble at him when I was using the blow dryer and the parts that he didn't like. Because I read in a dog training book how to desensitize him, and I think it worked a little bit. I was able to actually blow out his head, and it's not all wavy. I mean, I could have blew him out better, but you know what? I think I actually did a pretty good job. Even though your face is a little dirty. So now I'm just going to let him play. And we're waiting for our clippers to be delivered. Cause you're not gonna go to the groomer no more. Your mama's gonna do it. Say my mama gonna keep me looking fly, yeah. We are like in the catacombs of Atlantic Station. And we're gonna get so lost. Cause this parking garage is like so big. And we already messed it up like once. Rich people parking. This elevator smells like pee. There's the concierge. Oh, she said the concierge. <laughs> Let's just hurry. Yeah. I think you said the concierge would be behind. We're two minutes late, but we're gonna try because we don't give up. If it doesn't work, let's just go shopping. Heck yeah. Because, well, we're already here. Ooh, I want some of that good good. Some of that crawfish bake. I feel like this is a place you go when you have your life together. I know, I feel like a family, you understand how parking works. You have like an actual credit card, not. Ooh, the exhibition center. Woo! I think we have to take the escalator. Yeah. This, oh, remember she said something about another escalator. I couldn't work here because I wouldn't be able to help people get anywhere. Magic. Magic. It's happening, my boys. Is you getting a haircut? We need to fix that. They came. I totally jacked up his bum. But I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna try to fix it because then it'll just look stupid But that's okay because then it's easier to clean when there's less hair back there. Do you like your haircut? So I just need to go back in here 
and just scissor a little bit and he'll be done. It's not perfect. When you do something the first time, it's never perfect. Look at all that hair. He's getting really wiggly and I'm not feeling good. I think it's time for me to take some more drugs. So we're gonna take a little break and we will resume. It's really not that bad. Probably needs a little more here. Say, I look good, mama. You did a good job. Oh my god, I like totally jacked up his butthole. Do you like it, Bobbies? Do you like your haircuts? So we are done. This is the pile of hair. And I'm just gonna, I don't even know what I did. I just kind of went along with um, Malty's obsession with what she did in her video. He has a couple of spots that aren't perfect, but it's my first time. It's okay. And also, he just got blown out, so when his hair grows back, and his natural oils come back, it'll blend a lot better. He looks so cute. You're my little puppy for ebbers and ebbers. Do you wanna do, I want his legs a little smaller. And I kinda, don't make fun of me, like his butt, I did way too much. Show him your butt. Do you see? I did too much on your butt, I'm sorry my bobbies. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call it a night. I need to get my life back. I have stuff everywhere. I love this. I am never taking him to the groomer again. Unless I just need his lines touched up. What I did, I kind of followed like the shape he had and just kind of clipped out. She didn't cut him short enough last time. I like him like that. And I want his head to grow out, and I don't know. I have a plan, but I'm just too tired to talk about it. So I'm gonna say bye. Bobas, say good night to all your friends. Uh, bye, guys. Today was crazy. I got a bath, a blow dry, and a haircut, and a top sprout. It says it's a knot, but I don't have a full knot yet because I'm still a baby puppy. Can you give them the kisses, my boobies? Oh, you're such a sweet boobies.